guys, Cindy, <coughs> pardon me, Cindy Utter here with my Artsy Endeavors. How are we doing today? Um, I am doing fantastic. Here we go. This is the beginning of the Chronic Pain ABCs. Um, first thing I have here, this is a, a wonderful book that a friend of mine, Vicki Brown, um, you can find her videos at Messy Table Studio. That's her YouTube channel. She's just getting started. But this is a book that uh, she made for me. And basically it's made out of, I think, like a cereal, a small cereal box or some type of a small box, food box. And then she folded all of this um, scrapbook paper in a way that I could actually take it and put a regular size tag in it. Okay? Now, what I'm going to be doing, this looks like there's two, but I guess not. What I'm going to be doing is I'm going to be doing my ABCs on all these tags, all right, for the chronic pain. And I'm going to get into that more on the next video. But the very first video, I what I want to do is this book is wonderful. I love it, but I want to decorate it. The first thing I want to do is I just, I've got to have some jangles and dangles and something on these. So what I'm going to do is I've got a bunch of beads here. These are all just odds and ends. Um... The rest of my art studio hasn't gotten here yet, so I'm going to use what I have with me right now. And like I said, these are all just odds and ends beads, if I can keep them from falling off the table. And, whoops! I <laughs> like that. These are some that I purchased from um, the company Wish. And like I said, there's just a bunch of beads in here. And we're going to apply. So what I'm going to do is I am going to fast forward through this. Here's another string of beads. These I got somewhere probably on clearance because I don't pay full price for anything. So um, these are little owls. Aren't they cute? Isn't that adorable? Um, so I'm going to go ahead. I'm going to decorate these this book. And I'm going to decorate these sides. Now, normally what I would do is I would take um, like a fish line and make a bunch and, you know, probably hang them down here and then cut these off. But I don't have any of that with me. So um, what I'm going to do is I'm going to try to just use these strings and, and um, decorate my spine using these strings. All right. So I'm not sure how well this is going to go. We're going to try it and see what happens. Um, hopefully I can, you know, get something done up so that they'll dangle and hang out here and be fun. So I'm going to fast forward through the process. I hope you guys enjoy. And uh, I may be popping in here and there to chit chat. Or I will just see you at the end. One way or the other. I'll be back. Enjoy.
right, so here we go. I had an absolute blast putting this together. Love this. It's just all chunkies and, and um, charms and owls and a dream catcher, an arrow, a teapot. Um, this says, wherever you go, go with all your heart. Um, I have a feather down here, an eye. That's a ha homemade bead I made. This one, too, a homemade button. But, um, yeah, these are, this is it. Oh, I got a crown, crown here for princess. This one says, get out. Um, yeah, this was fun. I love doing these chunky stuff. I love this on the, on the backs of my journals, the spines of my journals. It's just so much fun. So now, um, like I said, this is going to be the Chronic Pain ABCs. And what I'm going to try to find now, let me see, where are my letters? I want to do the front of this, and I want to put on here Chronic Pain ABCs. So, let me see what I have for my letters. There's letters in this. Oh, uh, let's see what we've got. Blue, no. No. No, 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 maybe, um, pink, no, green would be better. I want to see if there's any gold in here. I think gold would be pretty. Silver, black, gold, yay, gold. All right, so let's do, we're just going to put on here chronic pain. And I'm not measuring, I'm not doing anything. I am gonna make sure it's right side up. So here's a C. Mm. It's cockeyed, which is all good. Let's try this again, C. That's not, you're not really gonna be able to see that, are you? Guess gold's not gonna work after all, so let's try another one. How about black? back. Um, let's do black. Come on. Oh, that's not going to be much better, but let's see what we can do. Come on. That's the cool thing about these letters is if you just don't push them on real hard, you can always take them back off. I wonder if I have a pink in here. Green. I wonder if the green will work. Let's see if the green will work. We'll find one of them. One of them will work for us. Yes, Abby. My cat's yelling at me. Can't really see that one either. Yes, Abby. She thinks she's starving to death, and I've already fed her this morning. And she has a thyroid condition, which she takes medicine for. But if um, I give her too much of the food, she just throws it back up. So she thinks she's always starving to death. I'm not liking any of these letters. Um, let me find some different letters. I'll be right back. All right, so... <clears throat> I ended up going through a bunch of letters, and I found these, and I have the ABCs, but I don't have a C. So what we're going to do is we're going to make this a C. I'm going to take off that part of the G, and we're going to take off this part of the G. And we're going to take a little bit of this off. And we are going to take oops, this off right here. All right, it's not going to be as perfect, but we get the idea, right? It's ABCs. Now, these are supposed to have like a, they do, they have a sticky back on them, 
But I'll be honest with you, I don't trust this kind of sticky, so I'm going to grab the tacky glue. And we're going to put down our ABC. Now this is ABC's a chronic pain. So what I've done is I've sat down with the alphabet and I have made, I want to say prompts, but they're not really prompts. I'm, I'm going to be doing the tags and I'm actually going to be doing both sides of the tags and the very first one you'll see how it's going to work and I think these are going to be fun to do. I think they're going to be a great self-discovery um, type thing and you know what? I don't want these straight. I want them like this. A, B, C's. Um, you know, I think it's I think it's going to be uh, fun yet educational yet you know um, kind of self healing. And the thing about this is um, when if you decide to do these, if you decide to um, make your own album and do your own ABCs, you know, do it for you. Don't worry about what I've done or what I've said or or the way it looks for me. Um, you're going to work on it for you, not for your, not for me. Not You don't have to, what I'm trying to say is you don't have to copy me. So don't, you know. Um, this is about you. <clears throat> so what I'm going to do, I've got ABC on here. And then I, I cut stuff out of magazines all the time. And I'm always cutting out words. Anything that I see that, I was like, oh, I like that. This one says investing in positive change. And I think this was actually from some insurance something. I don't know. But I liked I liked the um, the wording. So I cut it out, stuck it in my box, and here we go. So I'm going to do my ABCs. And I'm going to say that I'm investing in a positive change. So here's my investing in. Positive Come on you Positive doesn't want to come up here Positive and again, I'm not putting these straight. I don't want them straight Because trust me, there's nothing straight about chronic pain Oops get back there All right, this is um, this is some funky glue. It's an Elmer's glue stick and they call it a restick, and you can restick things for up to five minutes, which I thought that was kind of interesting. See, they just keep moving around, so you can move them wherever you want them for up to five minutes. And then hopefully they'll stay stuck down, so we'll see. Um, so we got our ABC. We're going to do an investing in a positive change. I, of course, want to get out some mockers and play. Now hopefully this will stay where it's supposed to be. And I just want to give some kind of a little border to these. So I'm just doing my dots. Dots are always good. I figure if you don't know what to do, do dots. And like I said, most of the time I don't know what I'm doing anyway, so. We're just going to do dots. I have a helper. I don't know if you guys can see her. There she is. She is just not leaving Mama alone. Let me bring you back in. We're in the new house. Like I said, she always thinks she's hungry. And she's not. She gets fed three times a day. Um, we've learned that if we leave the cat food down, she just gorges, so we can't do that anymore. All right, ABC, investing in positive change. Now, what else do I want to put on here? Do I want to put something else on here? Yes, I do. I want to put some kind of a cool bread. Funny, I used to have these all separated, and then um, <coughs> pardon me. Um, then I 
I saw Gina one day and she was using her brads and she pulled out a drawer like this. And I was like, ooh, that's really cool. And you know, I have to tell you, since I unsorted them and dropped them all in this drawer, I have used so many more of these. Maybe we should do dots. Dots or triangles? Dots. Actually, I like triangles better. Um, so yeah, I mean, if you if you find out that you've got a supply that you're kind of like hoarding, and you're not using it that often, um, try a different storage for it. And like I said, I found since I dumped these in here, I use these so much more than I ever thought of using them um, when they were in, you know, in the individual drawers. So just a little tip for you. Like I, oh, there's one made thing. All right, so um, let's see. We're gonna put these in here. All right, I'm gonna put these two on here. Now I got to find my little bitty bitty itty bitty hole punch. My little itty bitty bitty hole punch. This one is really tiny. Um, where's the thing on it? It's one sixteenth. See how, see how tiny that is. It just gives me a little bitty itty bitty hole. So what I'm going to do? See if this works. I'm going to put a little bit of marker on the end of that, a little bit of marker on the end of that, and go like this. And it worked a little bit. There's one. And there's two. So I'll put those holes in, and this one I just need one hole. So right about there. And then this is a hole punch, just like, um, you know, any other hole punch. And I'm going to... That's what I thought. Cut it the right way. I'm going to put a punch... Right there. And I'm going to put a punch... Close enough. All right, so I'm just gonna put these two down in here. Come on, come on, baby. I know you go in there. Come on. That's a thick piece of board that Vicky used. That one came down in. Do -do. Yeah, I use these. Um, these are actually wire cutters, but I use them like pliers, too. And hammers. Dun, dun. There's my star on there. See, it's bent over a little bit, but I don't care. All right, and then we got to put these two. I didn't do a hole yet. Let's do a hole. What's up, Dabadoo? She's just hanging out here by Mama. Aren't you, darling? All right. <sighs> Might have to do a bigger hole on this one. I don't know if both of these will fit. We're going to try it, though. I'm just going to have to grab them and pull. Yep. See, they fit. And then normally with these, I just take my little hammer, which I don't know where it is right now. So. And there she is. There's my cover. Isn't that cool? Now, <clears throat> I told you guys in the beginning that Vicki Brown made this book for me. <clears throat> she was inspired by um, Caged Fish. <clears throat> Pardon me. And um, Caged Fish has a video showing you how to make these pocket books. And um, 
If I remember, hopefully I'll remember, I'll put the link in the description box below. If for some reason it's not there and you are interested, shoot me a comment and I will get it to you. I really appreciate it. So, all right, so here we go. We're going to start our ABCs of chronic pain. I hope you guys have enjoyed this. As always, like, comment, share, and subscribe. Um, if you have any questions, leave them in the comments below and I'll be glad to answer them for you. And I hope you guys all have a wonderful day. Um, have fun. That's what life's all about. Happy creating and I'll talk to you soon. Bye.